Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Canon Culture, the most consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast in the world. I am your host, Justin Sama, and I'm here with my man, producer Plank. We're back with another episode. We would like to say thank you guys so much to all the audio and video listeners. If you guys are listening to the audio only version, that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts. Thank you guys so much for listening. And if you're watching the video version, make sure to run those likes up and comment a couple of times. We need the analytics on this channel, man. Thank you guys so much. Gideon and Sneeko. Uh-oh. It was a live stream. They were talking about some of the things he said. Sneeko said so what did you, how did your mind open up? I think a lot of people who start spreading the truth about the world, they need to be multicultural and they need to experience something outside of the Western fucking bullshit and then realize that all the feminism, gender neutral bullshit that everyone's falling into, all this soy boy, Minecraft, safe space nonsense is actually some Western boy, nonsense. Minecraft, when you step out of that, you're like, oh, nonsense. the world's way bigger than this social media bubble that I've been living in my whole life. Well, I mean, drugs, I can't really bro. make that uh, comparison because Sneakers for sure, for sure, on like a massive European amount of drugs. He's just, he's just a young guy. Yeah, to be honest. They're not as westernized. Of I don't course they really are, know but they're less dumb. I know that sounds ironic. Stuff that we believe in, in America young guy, is just getting dumber and dumber. Even some of his opinions, he's like, I want to be like forty, still like on some half nerd shit, fucking like multiple women. Like, yeah, that's great, but let's be real, you're not gonna be doing that. Guy is just so detached from reality. He's like. So weird. He's like what? I don't. Eighteen? No, he's about to. He's he's like twenty three. He's like he's a year older than me. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> oh my god, you. No, I just I've been like consuming. Your face just like drowned. Like I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> Your everything was like yeah, wow. This guy's twenty three saying stupid shit. What the fuck? I just like it's just so weird. Like it, I think it's the level of stupidity too. Like uh. I was spending time watching um, whose video. I've been watching a lot of Abba and Preach uh, this week. Actually, hold on. Let me pull up my history list. Because um, after our last recording of the podcast, I had to scrap that whole episode, bro. I had, that that whole thing had to go. Which um, one? The last one that we did before you went on vacation. Oh yeah. Which, by the way, to to all the viewers, that's why the podcast has been delayed so plank could have some vacation time he's been working real real hard so you know he went with you went to florida right yeah i went to florida oh man how was that it was uh it was it was fun it was about what you expect i sat home i you know what i mean not not sat home but i i was out in the pool at the beach mm. you know what i mean come home you know eat good food play zelda before bed nice that game also is insane by the way <laughs> I was sleeping how, how good that shit was. Breath of the Wild? Yeah, Breath of yeah, the yeah, Wild. Yeah, yeah. Man, that, shit. that shit was immaculate. That shit crazy. I played a, a PC rip of it. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. What? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I just thought it was funny that you just... You're not even going to try to say, like, in other manners. I guess you don't give a Absolutely shit. Absolutely not. No, no. What? Come on now. Who gives a fuck? It. <laughs> yeah. What, for what? I mean, think about it this way. Seven people listen to this podcast in total, right? Uh, let's yeah. say that eighth person is the most influential person at Nintendo. Like, say it's it's Ka Ka uh, was Harai himself, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be anybody at Nintendo. For what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you What are you gonna fucking do? Yeah. <laughs> I'd rip Smash Bros if I could. <laughs> that old bum ass game. Anyway, uh. What was I saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breath of the Wild is, is a crazy-ass game, man. I, I love it. I still haven't finished it yet. Uh, maybe when it, by the time the Mega Man game comes out, I'll get a Switch. Um, but I found out Mega Man's going to be on PC and uh, PlayStation, so it's not likely that I'm getting a Switch. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, they can eat my ass from the back, honestly. Them fucking, they're charging $60 for games that came out when the Switch came out. Like... Still true. There's still Wii U games that are sixty dollars. Like what the fuck? <laughs> These niggas are crazy. <laughs> they really are crazy. <laughs> they said we're not putting a sale on anything. They did like two updates to fucking Mario Kart Eight, and they were like, you know what? Yeah, that bitch sixty. Yeah, huh? nah, 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 nah. That's just it's what? It's wild. I think I saw it go down to fifty dollars once at a GameStop. Next week, that shit was right back at sixty, man. Not even a whole yeah. week later. I think it was like maybe 24, 48 hours, man. Because I came back because I was like, oh, 
me go ahead and get this, you know, because me and my girl at the time, she didn't have Mario Kart. So I'm like, oh, we're going to play Mario Kart together. Yeah, nah. Not me, buddy. <laughs> and motherfuckers okay. at Nintendo. Crazy, bro. Mm. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh, Gideon content, uh, Mr. Beast talking shit about other YouTubers. Oh, you know what podcast I've been consuming a lot of? It is uh, Logan Paul's Impulsive. I've been oh, okay. watching that like crazy. That's, that's a great ass show, man. Really is the number one podcast in the world, honestly. Honestly. Oh, I really. don't know if I agree with that, but... What would you say yeah. is the number one podcast in the world? Uh, I don't listen to too many, but the ones I do like... Uh, well, before it, it turned into shit, I liked the, J, the Joe Budden podcast ah, before okay. it was a shit show. Mm, mm. But what I guess right now, if we're saying that, maybe. I don't I don't listen to too much Logan Paul. He said some like stupid shit on Twitter the like the other the last couple of weeks, and I was like, oh, fuck. Mm, I, I forgot I what it was. Hold on, hold on. Let me I find forgot it. he has a Twitter. <laughs> I haven't it's been on I haven't been on Twitter shit. in two weeks, so I I yeah, wouldn't yeah. even know. So I've enjoyed not being on Twitter. Um, another show I started watching is uh, Under the Influence uh, podcast. Okay. It's like uh, these two Asian dudes, and uh, they had a episode with Violet Myers on there, and this other girl. Her name is um, Melissa Ong. She does uh, a lot of like she's this Asian girl. Uh, she, I think she goes by Chunky's Dead or something on on TikTok. She's the she's the TikToker who started a cult. I I don't I don't know what the what the scenario was, but that's what her audience is described as. It's it's cult like. So that's scary. Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But I mean, she, you know, she wields it like a like a Jedi with uh with lightsaber issues. You know, he's just like, is this thing on? And then just <laughs> next thing you know, that's it. It's over for you. Also, I found just a my bad, but I found the the thing that was going on that he was talking about. He was doing the he did a review on Nope, and oh. he was getting flamed in the quote retweets. That shit was crazy. They Probably, like, yeah, yeah. The yeah. movie is literally right, literally talking about people like you, mm. and it's because he said the movie wasn't. He didn't like the movie, or he said he was act objectively bad, is what he said. Really? Yeah, for Jordan Peele's Nope. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, I would expect that from from Logan Paul. I would expect that. It's not really. Oh, he would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, for some. Okay, so in total, I've watched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-seven episodes of his podcast. Oh wow, you counted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty. I've I've watched thirty-seven different episodes. From what I have researched, <laughs> I'm going to say this one. From what I have quote unquote researched about Logan Paul is he's just a, he's just a strange motherfucker, number one. Uh, number two, uh, he doesn't really give more than two thoughts about the things that he consumes. Uh, he's easily, influ not easily, but he's influenced to a great amount by the people around him so he probably has like you know uh, i forget him bro i can't remember his his two other co-host names uh and they're dope they're dope dudes so it's like not to disrespect them or anything i just can't think of their names all, at that off the top of my head um but those two seem like they would enjoy nope or maybe some people around him would enjoy that movie or even all of jordan peele's movies in general and Logan doesn't strike me as the type of guy who would like watch this movie and then be like, I wonder how black people feel about this movie. Like, I wonder how anybody else other than me feels about this movie. Like, I, he doesn't strike me as that kind of guy. So, uh, he seems like a cool dude to hang out with, but also he even from my 37 hours or so, well, we'll round it up to 39 because each episode is like a little bit over an hour. So we'll say 40 hours of researching Logan Paul in an extensive way and how he speaks to people and how he behaves and how he describes himself and how he lives his life. Yeah, he seems like this isn't his type of movie. Like, this seems like the exact type of satire that is made for people that aren't like him. So, you know, would I hang out with Logan Paul? Absolutely. 100%. Like before consuming his podcast, I would I would be like, no, fuck Logan Paul. I'd never hang out with this guy. 
after watching his podcast, Logan Paul's a dope ass dude. Like I, I legit like I would not ask him his political uh, views or what movies he likes or any opinion based anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> nothing that involves his opinion i would literally never ask him his opinion about anything but he'd be cool to hang out with you know maybe smoke maybe maybe drink a little bit uh go out on the town you know what i mean get some food with like he seems like he would provide great conversations about th- the things that he knows which is from my understanding not a whole lot um because he, he he even admitted for like two straight hours in the Tommy Idnit uh, podcast he did, uh, that he had no idea uh, how big Minecraft actually was. He was just like, oh yeah, I know it's a, 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 a an important game and people really like it. But do you like build blocks or like, what is it? And I was like, oh my gosh. And I couldn't even tell if he was like, just fucking around or not. But he genuinely struck me as somebody who legitimately would not know what the fuck Minecraft is. You know what I mean? And that's not... Him not knowing Minecraft isn't like a testament of like, look how stupid Logan Paul is. It's more like, this is how disconnected he is and like how in the house and like only caring about your own shit. Like that's what that looks like. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I'd expect him not to... I'd expect him... Uh, I, ex- I expect Hassan to, to suck that movie's dick. Um... I expect somebody like Sneeko to really not fuck with it at all. He'd be like, oh, okay, this is this is an attack on white culture and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's what I would think Sneeko would say. <laughs> uh, Sneeko's not white. <laughs> that's okay. I still think he would say that. Interesting. So, I don't think so. You don't think so? What do you think Sneeko would say? Uh, I think Sneeko cares more about... He, he cares about brainwashing and shit and mm. the system bunch of red pill community shit yeah yeah and trying to be rich which is you know what i mean it is what it is right right whether i disagree with it or not i don't so let me ask you a question how do you feel about him coming at playback the way he's been coming out uh, like are you caught up to date on that yeah i already watched the okay, already watched okay. The so so how do you, how do you feel about that i'd have to see the whole live stream i only seen the perspective of a playback mm-hmm. and so i'd have to watch the whole live stream but from what i what i could tell it was just like the second debate where it was like the first calling out where he was like they kind of ride the fence, it makes sense as a criticism, mm-hmm. um, because I I'm a sh- I assure you that a lot of people probably do that. A lot of people try to try to not be as, uh, not try not to be as controversial virtual because of YouTube's own systems, mm-hmm. and that makes sense. But I don't I don't know if they necessarily do that. I don't think so either. Yeah, yeah. I, I know th- there's definitely a select group of people in the commentary community that that do that, but I don't think that they do that. Mm. At least from what I've seen from their videos, I watch a lot of their shit, and uh, I've seen a little bit of Sneeko's content. Uh, I haven't really delved too much into it because his content is just not my style. Right, right, right. right. But I bet you if I go to that live stream, I'm probably going to be very confused. Uh, as somebody who did watch the live stream, yeah, I was very confused. I was, yeah. I was. You very, watched the whole thing? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole archive. I even watched like the two hours of additional commentary Sneeko had uh, about the previous live stream and his kind of like back and forth with playback and his reaction to that. Um, because I was very interested. Because obviously, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a fan of playback. Holy shit, this kid is weird. Number one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And number two, I feel like he's trying to Sneeko in general, just this is like out separate of the playback thing. I feel like he's trying to depict a a character. I feel like that's not necessarily him. I feel like he's he's performing to an extreme like like he might have some of these like views and thoughts and stuff like that. But I feel like he over over embellishes and exaggerates like. For the content, obviously. Um, because some of the stuff that he says is just... Uh, he contradicts himself literally in that same, like, four-hour live stream. Like, 
<laughs> oh and... yeah, you're talking about the shit with the shirt. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, shirt. yeah, yeah. That's exactly nah, that shit was that, that shit was hilarious. I'll the amount of like so mental gymnastics you have to do to do some shit like that or say some shit like that. And and for the audience for for people listening to this, uh you guys can just skip past this part. You guys don't care. Shut up. Um it's <laughs> It's so weird. It's just so, so weird because I try to acknowledge his criticism of them, right? I tried to like sit there and be like, okay, maybe this, what would this reality look like, right? It would significantly cut playback's views. Like they wouldn't be getting 200 to 300,000 views per, per video. You know what I mean? Like it just wouldn't happen. Like your, your divide is just too crazy if you're deliberately trying to do something that you know, the way Sneeko describes it, right? Yeah. Especially because he even acknowledges in that same live stream that his views have been altered and changed based off of, you know, the different creators that he pays attention to now. And that he finds that being a little bit... In, and of course, I'm paraphrasing because like the way he said it, it sounded like a, a fucking jumbled mess. Is he acknowledges that the extremism really does help benefit getting your voice and getting your name out there and like getting getting eyes on the content and then he also said in the same sentence he's like but that doesn't change the fact that that stuff is true and it's like and they they question him about like what do you consider the truth and it, he even admits it's he considers it kind of like andrew tate he which i think he's emulating a lot of um he sees his, his reality that he sees is like the definitive version of reality. Like for yeah, a lack on, of a better he, phrase. He's on yeah. severe, severe one player mode is what we call that. Yeah. yeah severe. <laughs> severe one player mode. Severe one player. Yeah. 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 So he's kind of, he's kind of stuck in this, at least when it comes to making content. And I don't think, I think because he benefits from it so greatly he doesn't take a second thought to think about the things that he says when he says them on camera or how it's depicted into the world because he just gets money from it. So it's like when you benefit from some bullshit, you're not really going to turn around and look like, hey, was this some bullshit? Did I just, did I just shit all over the floor? Like he, he's just not, you have no reason to. Like you see your, your money making as validation. So for even for like some of these other content creators that do shit like that, like Andrew Tate or fucking hell, we could even go as far back as Ty Lopez. Like, uh, when you start receiving monetary gain, like that's what you see as valuable. Like he even said that, like, that's what you see as a value. So therefore, oh, if I'm receiving this value back for my opinions, I'm just going to keep, keep going in the direction I'm already going. There's no reason for me to switch up. There's no reason for me to change up. Like I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. Whereas somebody like, uh, I'm trying to think of somebody that's in the middle, but I can't because they don't exist. Like somebody that's in the middle is probably like such a small time creator. It's just like, you, they're like 10, 15,000 probably. And I'm <laughs> not familiar because they're not doing extremist content, which goes viral. You know, that gets the Facebook clicks. That gets the, the flat earthers kind of rubbing their nipples in a, in a, in a frizzy. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like any time. i Preacher pretty in the middle though. For the most part, even though in they did a Abba and Preach or Abba did a interview with Sneeko and Sneeko said he was disingenuous, which I, which I don't agree with. Now, I did start watching that one. I started watching that, but I didn't finish it. Uh, oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I already know what their stance is. They just call out bullshit. Like it doesn't matter if it's left or right or extremist or moderate. They just like when they see bullshit, they just like call it out. You know what I mean? And that's what I really like about Abba and Preach, which is very similar to Playback. But also, you know, I like the way Playback does things. I just think the cognitive distortion of young people that exists right now and seeing Low make jokes about like, you know, oh, we we alpha, alpha, alpha. You know what I mean? Like, like and him going on like these satirical like two minute like jokes. Like you and I, we can identify like, oh, okay, that's clearly sarcasm that's funny that's a hee hee ha ha jokey joke like yeah. there's a group of people that genuinely believe low is being serious like <laughs> not just that low is being serious or that andrew tate has an issue with women when like he clearly doesn't you know what i mean like there's a there's a whole group of people that think sneeko is like speaking truth 
And when it's really just like, I mean, honestly, it's really just like, I mean, for Sneeko, he's probably just saying shit just just to sh- say shit. But I think Andrew Tate is probably doing something where he's like saying something that he truly believes and, in hopes that people get bits and pieces and form their own truth about it. That's what that's what I genuinely believe the difference is between Andrew Tate and Sneeko, number one. And there's like a huge, vast difference in their life experience because Andrew Tate's almost what? Four. He's like 37 or something, I think. He's up there. Like he's he's a few years older than me. Mm. So I know for a fact he has like life experiences that he's genuinely trying to put in like it's kind of like Kevin Samuels, like except a little bit more uh disrespectful. It's like Kevin Samuels would take his experiences and things like that, and he's like, Hey, here's how you can benefit from it. Andrew Tate's like, let me tell you about bitches. And it's like, whoa, okay, okay. And then next thing you know, Sneeko sees that video and he's like, I gotta ri- I gotta dick ride this. Like, I, I, I ride that dick like a pogo stick. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Because when you look at the congruence between their their content and the things that Andrew Tate says and the things that... I mean, Andrew Tate has an entire team of, of social media. Like, um, what is it? What is it? Like, he's got a farm, essentially. He's got, like, you know, an entire team just for Facebook content. He's got an entire team just for Twitter content. Which I've been dive uh diving into andrew tate's content and how he makes it and he's very much does the ty lopez thing where ty has an he has a specific like group um and he's like hey you guys are going to be responsible for sharing my facebook content and making sure that stuff is captioned clickable uh over the top nonsense where like the it's funny enough the the lamborghini knowledge clip he he said uh, an intern of his came up with that idea and it went viral and they would just like ran ads on it all the time. So he was like, yeah, that's how he knew to like, you know, run with that. And I think Andrew Tate does the same thing, but Sneeko does it on such a tiny scale. It's just like Twitter beef and YouTube shorts. You know what I mean? Like he hasn't really scaled to like a Facebook audience where like, you know, when you tell somebody like you learn something off of Facebook, they're like, it automatically goes to the thought of like conspiracy theory. Lizard, mm. lizard people you know what i mean like it like if you saw a video on youtube explaining to you the same topic that you saw on facebook and you told somebody hey i learned this off of off of a facebook video i instantly am going to like stop listening to what you said i immediately i'm just gonna be like oh okay so because only incels and conspiracy theorists f- hang out on facebook that's like the sentiment right but obviously i, mean, I feel like it, i thought it was just a whole bunch of old people yeah that too i mean and they'll old people believe anything like 45 plus, like 45 plus, they'll believe anything. Like this is the same demographic of people that says you can't believe everything you see on the internet or don't give people your information on the internet because they don't fucking know. They don't fucking know the nuances of of the internet. So whereas like millennials and Gen Z, they're like, no, we just kind of consume this shit. Like we just take it in, in fucking bulldozer amounts. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like a lot of Facebook content is that like conspiracy theory kind of deep dive rabbit hole type shit and that's the type of like audience that andrew tate appeals to right sneeko appeals to the gen z i can't get bitches category of people on youtube and twitter you know what i mean so it's just so interesting because as i as i watch the way these guys make content and like the way people consume it is they're like this is their church basically like I was reading one comment in in one of Sneeko's uh, videos that he did. Um, I think he was talking about like uh, something about the feminist agenda and and how it's meant to like make men soft or some shit like that. Like I I clicked off like after three and a half minutes of a fourteen and a half minute video. Um, <laughs> I was like this shit is crazy. Damn. And I I scrolled and I looked at the comments and one guy was like, "Yeah, you changed my life." I no longer look at women the same. Like they don't deserve my my respect or my pity or some shit like that. And I was like, "Yo, I was like, holy fuck! Like that's a that's a person who went to the comment section, typed that out, read it back, and said, yeah, I'm gonna post that.' Like <laughs> that's a wild comment to put. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck was on the other side of those words, on the other side of that screen, on the other side of the monitor, at the end of that keyboard." But, yo, I am scared of that person. <laughs> that person sounds genuinely terrifying. 
for somebody who will watch a YouTube video and say the content creator changed your life and that you no longer respect women because of them is just that's a huge decision. That's not like saying like I watched a cook a Gordon Ramsay video and now I don't want to cook eggs or something like that or I only want to eat omelets. This is literally some guy saying or I don't know, some person saying that they're not going to give a set of people respect anymore because of a <laughs> because of a YouTuber? Like I don't know. That's that's strange to me. <laughs> And that's just one guy. Like, I'm sure if we scrolled down one of his videos, we could probably find multiple that are some of the wildest comments we've ever fucking seen. We might, we might have to do that. That, that would be cool. <laughs> that sounds terrifying, bro. Like, and there's probably, scary as this sounds, there's probably hundreds, if not thousands of them that do that. And I'm, I, I don't know, man. It only takes one guy one guy in that comment section to rep replace the word woman with the word nigger. And then next thing you know. <laughs> Yo. So. <laughs> I should be giving this, these people respect. <laughs> I care. These aren't even people. <laughs> oh, that now that is crazy. I'm sure there's somebody that said that shit. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that somebody that, that feels this way about women feels this way about Jews and Negroes because I was I was streaming the other day right and it was funny enough like um oh that was my tape whatever uh one person in my chat actually said that uh we were doing a Disney tier list or whatever and he said how um uh, don't worry I'm gonna wrap this back around uh he said how okay. Treasure Planet is a is a shit movie and I was like what like that doesn't even I can't even compute. That doesn't even make any sense. Like I had to pull it up. I had, I had to pull. I had to ask him for the Carfax and everything, man. And then I pulled up the documentary on, um, you know, why the movie was delayed for so long, and it was basically like uh, Todd and shit. What's the other guy's name? I want to say it's Todd and Rod. Their names. Their names rhyme. It's either like Bill and Todd or something like that. It's basically these two white guys that were responsible for all the Toy Story movies. Uh, well, the first two Toy Story movies, The Lion King, Mulan, uh. It was like they, it was called the Disney Renaissance. Pocahontas, Oliver and Company. It was like basically anything in between 1988 and 1996. So yeah, Mulan, Hercules, and anyway, TLDR. The amount of just like bullshittery this guy was shouting in my chat did not make any fucking sense. And he was talking about how Disney being woke now and all this other shit and i just genuinely thought to myself i said wow this is a real person <laughs> this is a real live human being in my fucking chat bro like it didn't make any goddamn sense anyway i say all this to say that uh the cognitive distortion for some of these people is just is crazy did you watch the alex jones tri trial by the way uh, I didn't watch the trial. I looked at Twitter. That's about it. Okay. All right. So let me give you the cliff notes on this okay. uh, for anybody listening. Uh, this was specifically about the trial and not just the defamation, but the damages that Alex Jones has caused uh, the families and the victims of the Sandy Hook massacre. If you guys are not familiar with the Sandy Hook massacre, please go Google that. I'm not, I'm not Google. I can't, I can't tell you everything. Um, but he's ordered to pay, I think, hold on, let me Google the exact amount because I, I don't want to spitball this. Hold on. He's ordered to pay $49.3 million Damn. For, the for the amount of bullshit that he was uh, spitting out about the Sandy Hook massacre. So, and this is just the first case, by the way. This is just for the defamation part. So $50 million is a lot of money for talking shit on the internet. I just, Seriously. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Uh, I don't even think he got it. I don't even think Alex Jones got it like that. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I don't think a lot of people got it like that. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Very, very few people actually have it like that. So, uh, good luck to that guy, I guess. Um, 
So he ended up losing that case, and so now he has to pay almost $50 million in damages just to the Damn. families. Just to the families. Could you... Now, I don't... I don't know, man. I think we have a lot of people that are in the in that extremist camp that are making so much like lucrative content to them, like monetarily speaking that I think we got to, I think we got to do something, man. I think we got to do something on our podcast. And what would that be? Hating women. You got any bright ideas about hating women, hating Negroes. Uh, (laughs) Honestly. Oh, that brings me back to what I was saying about the dude who was talking, talking shit about treasure planet. And I was telling him, how you know like some of the like older disney movies are are so amazing and um he was saying like how walt disney didn't plan for this and all this other stuff i was like no shit like walt disney hated negroes and jews like what what the fuck did you think like how did you think he this company made billions of dollars bro like you got to switch that shit up like there's no way you can make it a theme park about uh hating jewish people like that's just not gonna work like it's just not True. like Especially with cartoons, like, with, like, deep down racism in it. Like, we were going over, like, Dumbo and Pinocchio and stuff like that. And um, I don't know if you know this, but I pulled up the lyrics for one of my favorite movies, Pocahontas. Um, and Disney tried to censor one of the songs in it. And it's uh, the Savages song, right? So, going yeah. into the first chorus, it goes, Savages, Savages, Barely Even Human, right? And it's when oh. the, the white people are talking oh. about the Indians, right? There's a line in the original that calls them dirty red skin devils. Yeah. yeah. And that was in Pocahontas. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Plank, but but this is how time works. The 90s wasn't that long ago. <laughs> yeah, that, not at all, actually. <laughs> for, for Disney to green light a movie where they go, yeah, those brown people, those are dirty red skin devils. <laughs> So, I just, I'm so confused, man. But to double back, yeah, we're going to have to do something extreme. I think we either go extreme left or go extreme right on this show, man. I don't think we can, uh, <laughs> specifically pertaining to video, I don't know why you're laughing, per- specifically pertaining to video games and entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, I really think we need to pick a side here. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I would like to do that this podcast. <laughs> I'm really right leaning, honestly. Uh, gun toting, you know, America is the greatest nation on 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 the planet, and uh, honestly, I think uh, there's too many black people in Star Wars, man. One is, is too many. John Boyega. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one yeah. is too many. <laughs> I was really thinking about it. Get that big lip, wide nose. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. Yeah, we should probably go. We should probably go extreme. I don't know which direction uh historically left has been uh, a good way to go um but right is just like way more entertaining to be honest like like i just sat here and I, I, <laughs> so this I, is what we're doing yeah i we're mean just i just be fucking like two steven crowders I, that's, that's basically I, I what mean, we're doing i guess i i just i kind of sat here and i just short of called john boyega a monkey for being in star wars and it was pretty funny like it wasn't even a whole joke and it was pretty funny i don't think i can make a left leaning joke and it be like, I mean, we can always do it in satire. We can always do it in like a hee hee ha ha satirical sarcasm sarcasm type of way. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's always pretty funny. So I genuinely enjoy conversations like that. Those are always interesting. Seems like so. we're going to have to talk to HR about that one, Jay. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going you sure? on. Here. You sure? We don't, I don't think we have to include HR in this one. Not at yeah, all. No, yeah. no, no, Maybe. no, no. Maybe not. <laughs> Listen, man, it's it's all good. You look white. You're not Mexican. You're fine. Don't worry. About I got it. a tan. Oh, you got a you got a tan while you were in Florida. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, so now you look like a dirty spit. No, I'm just playing. I'm just. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Oh, uh, what they gonna do, man? It's seven people listen to this podcast, bro. Like, come on now, like. Fair. Oh, you know who's uh? Not only was I watching uh, Impulsive, which uh, by the way, if you do get a chance, like I I know you don't really fuck with Logan Paul. They do have some pretty good episodes on there. There's one uh, that I was watching with uh, Mr. Beast. That one's obviously iconic. That one's really, really, really good. Um, there is another one. I just recently watched one with Corinna Kampf. And it was like right before, like right after she dropped the OnlyFans. 
Um, I was watching The Yard uh, with Ludwig. Um, yep. And they had an episode where Mr. Beast was on there. Uh, so that was pretty good. Uh, I just, I, I've been like consuming a lot of content and um, I, I feel like I can, I feel like I'm safe enough to say this on the podcast. If not, we can, we're probably going to put it on the Patreon. You'll tell me after. Um, I've been watching a lot of my, yo, where is about to get real wild. You're not okay. ready for this. Okay. Um, but it's funny after all of this, like after this entire rant, which I can cut this back in. Uh, after this entire rant, right, which you guys can catch at patreon.com slash canon culture. Um, <laughs> after this entire thing, uh, <laughs> what, bro? I'm, no, man, no. Pay, that, pay that fucking five dollars. Shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Uh, after, after all this entire rant, I still want to make videos with these shitty content creators. Like, it's so crazy. So, all this to say... One more thing. I've never at any point considered any of the collaborations or anything else that I do or any of the videos I make or any of the analytics. I never once considered that I might be a bad content creator. Not one time. I see. Yeah. Nah. The waves are too crispy, bro. The waves are too crispy. I can't. I'm surfing. There's no way I could be a bad content creator. Like. (laughs) No, there's no way. There's there's absolutely no way. Uh, Especially because, you know. I'm me. I'm not gonna believe it. Like, Kobe never believed he was second best. Like, he just improved his game. Like, that's it. He only focused on improving his game. So, you know, not comparing my my YouTube career to Kobe's basketball career, but I have to it's have the mentality. A, it's the mentality. Yeah, it's the mentality. Like, I have to be. I have to be the best. So I have to watch the best. I have to watch their film. I have to watch their tapes. I have to watch the way they do things. I have to study the way they do things. Why did this person do that? I have to get a coach. I have to get all of these other things to help me. I gotta get in the gym. I gotta get a nutritionist. I gotta. I gotta get a trainer for different days for working on different things. I gotta get a specialist to help me with this, that, and the other thing. So there's no way, like. I'm doing the work. You know what I mean? Like the work just hasn't paid off yet. So yeah, like I said, man, like on a galactic goal, I'm hitting 50K by the end of the year. Like, but like realistic, maybe like nine, maybe <laughs> if that, like if I could just get out of the sevens, if I can get out of the sevens, I'll be okay. I'll be like, oh, okay. We might be going somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. Um, but th- you know, to kind of go back to what I, what I was saying before, yeah, man, we need to we need to be extreme left or extreme right, because <laughs> uh, this content shit is fun and it's easy to make mo- like it's easy to make money when we have stuff to talk about. Like I can talk about content all the time. Like I, this, is literally all I do is consume content and like go to therapy. That's it. Those are the two, the only two things I really do. Um, yeah. So it's like. All right. Uh, I don't want to make therapy content. I'm not a fucking therapist. That shit sounds boring as fuck. So you know, I even took to to heart what you had said last, you know, last time for our podcast. Cause like I listened back to it and I was like, would I listen to this podcast? And there was like a few things that was interesting. So I might turn that into a Patreon and throw that on Patreon. But like, it I was just boring. Like like it was just boring in general. Like it just was not fun. It was not having a good time. There was like hardly any laughs in there. Like, and I don't, I mean, for me in particular, I, we don't have a comedy podcast. Like, it's just really just like an information opinion based podcast, right? Based off of video yeah. games and other shit that we find interesting. Random media we find on the internet. Yeah. Random meat that we find on the internet. Right. So I just think we just, we, we have this lane where no one has really traveled that lane before without like changing lanes like mid freeway you know what i mean like yeah. like getting over like hitting the carpool speeding a little bit you know what i mean like like we're headed on a on a 55 because that's what like the national average for speed limit or whatever and we're going like 40 so it's like there's not really anybody behind us like honking at us or anything but like we're just not like we're on the freeway we're just not going fast enough we're not going the speed limit and you know we're also driving a hunk of junk with no gas in it. So, yeah. you know, I just, you know, I'm trying to like change up some stuff. Maybe we can like, 
do a couple of different things going forward. I really like the way ABBA and Preach does their reactions to things. I really like the way Playback does their reactions to things. Um, so I think we should try that a little bit. And I know we had planned a lot of that stuff before, but like, I think it's like implementation time now. Like we'll probably take like two times a week to like, oh, okay, let's like play this game or like watch this video or whatever and then do stuff like that. So, you know. <laughs> Hey, then, put man. It on, then put it on Patreon, because, you know. <sighs> Patreon, we're the, the end real of the day, we're... <laughs> Yeah, truly, actually. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's just one step at a time. It's just, uh, I mean, we can go, probably go over it later, but there, we, we just got to do more, man. Like I said, but like, like I've said earlier in, in the past, it's just, the catalog and continuing to go and continuing to just upload man eventually it'll something will work something will click for sure for sure so uh but that's pretty much it for me today man i don't i don't have anything else i actually have to jump out of here because i had to hop on a video and uh do two other things man so uh, yeah i gotta do something too so that's, oh yeah for sure it's a good place to stop the valorant awaits um no i'm not doing that that's i, <laughs> no, they don't, I, I gotta they don't. do some real life shit oh real life shit really yeah, yeah. Damn. I gotta okay. get Adam. I gotta get my fat ass out of this chair. Oh, yikes. So. Okay. All right. You got the right. got the got the dumpy just sitting up in there, huh? No cap. <laughs> You're fat as fuck. Oh my god. Anyway, we want to thank you guys for listening to this week's podcast. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to let us know on social media. You guys can go ahead and follow that. Um, our links will be in the description below. Uh, Plank, do you have a? I need to ask you this because I'm gonna take everybody else's link out. Uh. Do you have Damn. like? Do you want people to go to your what? I mean, they're not. They're not. They're not even working on this fucking podcast. Fuck them. Um, yeah. Do you have a? You want people to go to your Twitch? You want people to go to your Twitter? What is it? Yeah, go to the there. Twitch. Go to the Twitter. Uh, I don't. I just retweet art and shit. A little and, bit of porn. Uh, on I, I will be making a return to Twitch as we soon stream as there it? is a game worth it. Uh, multiverse is worth it. No, mm. not not yet. Mm. All right. Well, you know. It is oh, what it is. they're about to. Oh, I'm so sorry, but they're about to announce the new Tekken at Game Awards. Ah, that's cute. That's cute. Tekken eight, seven. Tekken eight. Tekken eight. Yep. Oh, Tech 8 is going to go crazy, man. So Yes, it uh, is. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to let us know. Uh, thank you guys for everyone listening on Spotify, Apple, uh, Google Podcasts, if you're one of those weirdos. Stitcher, if you're one of those weirdos. Um, anybody watching the video version, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure to keep it canon.